the main thing about flying in cold weather that you need to pay attention to is of course your batteries. The LiPo batteries are not meant to be cold and so they perform a lot worse in the cold and as it gets colder they progressively perform worse and worse. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on not only the temperature outside but also the, the wind chill because below the trees you have a lot of wind blocks with the houses and trees and things like that but when you get up above the trees you open your drone completely up to all the elements and the full force of the wind chill. So what I like to do is keep my extra battery inside of my my coat pocket and then I like to perform a little routine to heat up my drone. So what we're gonna do is we've got a battery in the drone that isn't all the way full. We're just gonna turn it on and we're gonna let the drone itself kinda hover for a few minutes and kinda heat up the gyro inside of the drone. That way we get a more stable flight whenever we're using the full battery. Turn that on. What we're gonna do the home point has been updated. Take off. We're just gonna put the drone into a hover. And you can see with how cold it is, the GPS is having trouble keeping it stable and in one place. Normally, when it's not cold outside and it's nice outside, the GPS keeps it locked in and the gyro keeps it steady and it stays in one place a lot better. <clears throat> you can tell it's just moving all over the place because it's fighting that gyro. And I'm actually having to control it just a little bit. We're just going to kind of let it hover here. We're warming up the gyros. Warming up the, the uh, actual drone itself. That way we can get peak performance and peak control. And that drift is bad today. And we'll let it do this probably, we're at 47% in the battery. I'll probably let it do this until the battery's dead. I usually do it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes even a full battery is not unheard of. I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing, so we'll go ahead and stop this. While we're letting the battery wear down just a little bit, I'm going to show you guys that I keep my spare battery right here. Now some people... A really easy thing to do would be to uh, get a pair of those cheap gloves, get some hand warmers, and then you put the battery into one of the gloves, and then you put the hand warmers around it, and then wrap the other glove around that to keep it to keep the hand warmers between the piece of cloth and the uh, battery. You never want to put the the hand warmers directly on the battery because they are heat. So. Now that we're steadied out, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to land it, and then I'm going to take the uh, the battery out of my pocket. Now that it's warmed up, the battery's warmed up, and then I should get as good a performance as I can get out of it. Now in the cold, these lipo batteries are still going to get cold. They're not going to be at top performance, so you're going to be lucky to get 15 minutes out of it. You're not going to be getting the 20 minutes that you typically get you're going to be getting probably 12 to 15 minutes out of your battery.
we'll gradually start seeing the drone get a lot better at staying steady. It's staying in one spot a lot better now. It's still got a little bit of a drift to it, but it's staying in place a lot closer to its GPS point than it normally would. And you see how much trouble this can be when you're in the cold and you're fighting the wind and you're going over a mountain or maybe you're flying through a snowstorm when it's when it's really really windy fighting the sticks and keeping your sticks jammed to one direction just so you can keep it steady can cause a lot of problems Take off. so now you should be getting peak performance and peak control out of your DJI it's staying in a in a pretty steady spot right now so it's not as bad a drift but like I said earlier you're not gonna get as much time out of it we we'll go ahead and fly up the main thing to remember when flying in the cold weather is to just take care of your lipos lipos are not meant to get cold if I if there is anything that I need to stress that would be the main thing taking care of your batteries is a is a huge deal when having longevity in your batteries as well if you're a range flyer and you fly a long long ways then you need to know that the performance is going to drop tremendously and so you may not be able to fly as far and get back in time by the time the critical battery pops up that's a huge thing to remember is if you're trying to film say some mountaintops or something and you and you think you know in warm weather i can make it this far i can go over this next hill and get this next shot before i have to make it back but i've been told that once your battery reaches 30 percent i've never reached 30 percent flying in the cold because i've never been able to stand being out here long enough to reach 30 percent but i've been told that once it reaches 30 percent it just drains quick like very very quick and so that's something that you need to watch for. So my main two things when I talk about flying in cold weather is warm your quadcopter up. That way you don't have so much gyro drift. If you don't have an extra battery, try to warm it up for at least five minutes of your battery time. I know that restricts your time of flight down to about 10 minutes, but try to warm it up at least a little bit or else when you take off, you're gonna you you're, you're gonna have problems, and you're gonna be having to jam your sticks one direction or the next. I experienced it a thousand times until I finally looked it up and found that I needed to warm it up. So if you just follow the the steps that I did at the very beginning, it's flying perfectly right now. I mean, it feels in flight like it's exactly how it would feel in the in the summertime. It, it it's not having any problems with performance. <laughs> I don't feel any gyro drift. I, I'm I'm pushing straight forward right now, and it's going straight forward. And just keep your batteries warm. You're going to get more performance, and you're going to get a longer lasting, more range, and everything with a with a better battery. I'm not going to fly this whole time. I'm not going to fly the whole battery down, but I'm just kind of flying around. Just protect your batteries and uh, protect your drone. It's always good to take caution and to learn as much as you can about your drone. So if it snows in your area and you feel like you want to just get out and take off flying in the snow and all that, uh, I mean, you can do it. They per These Phantoms perform pretty good in the cold. Uh, it's not too difficult to fight with the gyro drift it's not you know so sometimes you don't want to sit out in the cold and try to warm your drone up your bird knows best what she needs she's gonna do it so anyways this is Bryce and Michael RC just kind of showing you guys a little bit about flying in cold weather uh, I'm not gonna get not getting too in detail or anything like that I'm not giving you a top 10 things to remember or anything. Just remember your checklist follow your checklist Calibrate your drone 
uh, make sure everything's going how it should go, and then warm up your drone, warm up your battery, and that's that's pretty much it. And take off flying, have fun with it. You know, you don't absolutely have to follow those steps, but if you want a battery to last you, my batteries have lasted me a year, and I'm gonna, I'm making a video of everything that you need to do to make sure that your batteries last. I know guys who their batteries didn't last them but like six months and that's terrible for a battery that cost over a hundred dollars so there's there's certain steps that you can take to uh, secure in the longevity of your batteries and I, I've never bought I've never had to replace any batteries I've bought new batteries but I've never had to replace any my batteries have lasted for well over a year and they've been good and they've been top performance since and that's because I follow certain rules when it comes to charging my batteries when it comes to using my batteries in the cold, using my batteries in the extreme heat and things like that. And in the cold, this is just one of those things that it not only helps your drone, it not only helps your performance of your drone, but it also helps your battery life and the longevity of the battery. So anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. It's Bryce and Michael RC. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys. Have a good one.